What is reverse ETL? Well, let's start with what ETL is. It generally means getting data from a source to your warehouse, traditionally transforming it first, so extract, transform, load. Nowadays, though, often the transformations happen in the warehouse, in which case it's called ELT. Reverse ETL is the opposite of ETL and ELT. It's getting your data out of the warehouse into places where your business teams can actually use it. I know exactly what you're thinking right now. I've put so much time and money into getting my data into this state-of-the-art warehouse that serves as the single source of truth for my company. And now you're telling me that I also need to take the data back out of the warehouse? Why are you adding yet another step? Well, there are a few reasons and they're actually pretty cool. First, let's look at what you do with the data that stays in the warehouse. You hook it up to a business intelligence tool like Looker, maybe Tableau, where you analyze the data in a dashboard. That's all great, but the reality is that you can do so much more with your data than just analyze it. You can also take the enriched data from multiple sources, so the data you've joined, transformed, and modeled in the warehouse, and take action on it, letting that information power your day-to-day -day decisions. How does this happen? That's where reverse ETL comes in. In order for business teams to take actions using the warehouse data, they need access to it not in the warehouse, which is designed for data teams, but in the tools and platforms that they work in every day, like sales, marketing, and ad platforms, customer success tools, even finance apps and production databases. Let's dive into some examples. Let's say you have data showing customers who abandoned their online shopping carts over the past 24 hours. With reverse ETL, you sync that data to your marketing platform, where your marketing team can immediately run a retargeting campaign on Facebook or with automated emails. The possible use cases are endless. Let's look at another one. Everyone knows Slack. With Slack, you can use the basic service for free. Slack is, of course, tracking how you use their app, and they know that once your workspace hits about 2,000 messages, there's a good chance you're ready to convert to being a paid customer. With reverse ETL, it's incredibly easy to track a metric like this. You just set up a reverse ETL sync that sends product usage data directly to Salesforce, which alerts the sales reps that it's time to take action in real time. If you want to get started with reverse ETL, check out HiTouch. HiTouch is a SaaS platform that runs directly on top of your warehouse and integrates with over 100 different destinations. All you have to do is connect to your data warehouse and to your destination, define your data model, and map the appropriate fields to your end destination. After that, you can schedule how, when, and where your syncs should run. You can even have them run after your latest ETL job has finished running. You can create a free high-touch workspace today using the link in the description. There's no scripts, no APIs, and no CSVs. Head on over to hightouch.com. If there are any reverse ETL topics you'd like me to talk about, or if you have interesting use cases about how you're using reverse ETL to take action on your data, I would love to hear from you. You can email me, mary at hightouch.com, or you can find me on Twitter, at Mary McCarthy.